Once again, hard to do the TMP thing and kind of stay chunky. It is. Kinda. If you want to, if you want to perform well. Oh yeah. You got it, and then you Illness think about helped. it. Illness helps. By losing that weight, it's like taking a, a hard armor plate off the front and back side of your body. Easy. Easy. Did you uh, use that applesauce enema technique I told you about? Just for fun, I did. It worked. Yabachi told me it worked for him. Are you doing it too to drop some weight? Living the dream. Are you? Awesome, dude. <laughs> Living the dream. It works six <laughs> times a day, right? I just didn't want a lunchtime, so I want to hold my rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as usual, we're blabbering when we should be shooting. Uh, my total score on that Keltec SU-16C, the first run, was... I gotta go total it up. Dude, that gun looks sick. Hopefully it runs sick. Cold, windy, sledgehammer run. PFI dude, tell us about your loadout. Sega 308, modded by myself. Running a Leapers uh, 3 to 12 optic, I believe. Yeah, 3 to 12. Their uh, new SWAT Force series. We'll see how that works. Uh, SGM Tactical Quad Rail and Stock. And a uh, Condor Sling. Okay, and SGM, you said the Rootstock yep, SGM, yep, SGM Tactical guys. SGM Tactical as well. To check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, you and UTG optic mount, right, dude? Yeah, yeah, UTG optic mount. Okay, we'll show that while you're running, got it. And uh, what do you got? A 20 plugged in there, 20 round mag? 25 round mag. All right, could you get any bigger of a scope for the sledgehammer? Nope. Okay, that's like <laughs> Sniperville. <laughs> Sniper we'll scope. Try it. <laughs> okay, timer ready. There's USAF Intel, Yabachi sadly missing. Go, 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 go! We're expecting good things out of Mr. PFI here. Left side, left side! Shoot the XD, standard trigger. Ooh, something's going on with the sling. Yeah, what's up with that? Two, three, four, nice, miss. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight rounds, nice. Well done. Draw, hey, you got a douche pouch. Why aren't you using it, fudge? <laughs> Unbelievable. What is going on with your sling? I'm to fix this goofy sling. The things you learn in Sledgehammer. <laughs> Come, let me help you out. Here we go. Come on, that bad guy is laughing at you. <laughs> Not only is he laughing at you, he's probably killing you. Oh, jeez. Dude. Come on, man. Where's that smiley face? Big talk. Big talk. We need to see a smiley face. Come on, 10 rounds. Oh, you are all over the place, my friend. All right, here we go. At least I will say this. Your XD was 100% reliable in that. Here, right, let me get this go. for you. He's got a Deutsch pouch. He's not even using it. Come on, man. Let's go. All right. A dutiful cameraman will remind you. Five rounds. Oh, that's a cool shot. PFI dude with a Sega 308. Representing. By the way, this gun was shooting right on. Hey, is this made out of Dacron, your jacket? Or is that nylon? God, that thing's loud. Talk with authority. PFI dude. Sega 308. Go, go, go! Don't you need to reload there, Holmes? How many rounds do you have in that mag? Are you opting not to reload? Five head, five head. You should have had a mag reload, Holmes. Oh, well, shot five, right? <sighs> Come on, man, headshots. Seriously, did you see Vienna? Is she cute to you? I don't think she is. Anybody who needs a lot of plastic surgery is not cute. How many rounds are you shooting on that thing? Let's go, man, let's go. How's that Deutsch patch working for you? Your buddy's gonna be so pleased you used that. <laughs> He's like, I sewed that Deutsch pouch for you and you're not even using it. All right, look at the muzzle blast on this thing. Five and five, dude. Let's go. 
Gave you some quiet time to find your mojo. Quiet time's over though. That Deutsch pouch is riding low, my friend. This is where that weight loss really comes into play, my friend. Opting not to use a shooting stick since he's too big of a man. PFI dude at 200 yards, Sega 308. This, my friends, is a hard shot. Hard shot. Hit! 308 will buck wind better than any 223. At least you can see that puff when you miss. Miss. Reticle bouncing all over the place. Miss. It's tough, no support. A little more blast and recoil. PFI dude, from the kneeling position. Couple rounds left. I'm sure you don't want to use those shooting sticks, my friend. No way, man. Everything was way high. You hit it that first time, though, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I actually aimed way low and thought it was just a mistake. Yeah, I'm glad I had this uh, drop pouch. It worked real <laughs> what, well. What was that about, man? Dude, You're I don't not use used drop to it. pouches. You're not used to it. It was just in the way. It's funny how uh, all the great this plants. Two point sling. All the great plants kind of fall to crap when the stress rises. Well, this stupid sling, man. I don't use two point slings, and I could not get that thing figured out. Just feels like I'm in a spider web all the time. Well, is, were you running it like this over the shoulder? That's how I'd run yeah. it, like that. And when I was running, it just fell off here. Oh, it did? Yeah. Well, because when I was running, I lifted it up to run like this. I lifted it up to run like this, and then it just slipped right off. Are you going to use it next run? I don't know. I say use it and perfect yeah, it. Yeah, I'll run it again. Just just because you, you have problems with the up, system, yeah, don't abandon it unless there's something wrong with your system. Yeah. I just perfect it. Use it's it. a training issue. Yeah, I think it's good just like that. At least for what we're doing today. Oh, yeah. I just got to learn to use it. All right. One hit out of 200, my friend. Yeah. That is a lot more blast. Oh, it's a lot more blast. And with that high magnification, too. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse alert. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. No excuses. <laughs> I have plenty myself I today. usually run the four power, and with this, every time that muzzle rises, it's twice as long to find that target again. Uh, dude, I was telling you, though, I think that, well, 10 power is actually 10. doable at 200. I should have been able to hit it, there's no doubt. I'm on to talk. I connected, uh, what, three times I with the SC16. Not impressive. I'll try to do better. How's the trigger on that? Is it because I think with the SU16, the trigger at 200 yards is really difficult to connect with. Yeah, this one isn't one of the better ones that I've put in. It's almost like a scratchy Let's two stage. Let's walk and talk. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a scratchy two stage. I think it just needs to be shot more. It's brand new. This is the first time I've had it out. How's the weight on it? That's a heavy gun, is it not? Yeah, it's very heavy. My, my AR-15, I was running the last one with that EOTech 4 power setup was a heavy carbine. This one outweighs it by quite a bit. So, would you say in certain POUs the 308 is worth the extra weight? And I'm not just talking gun. The ammo's more, uh, is heavier, the magazines are more bulky. Oh yeah. What do you if think, you, If you gotta it? do anything at distance, but... I say yes. Yeah. I say in certain POUs the 308 makes a lot more sense in a 5.56. Five, Big time. You just got to be uh, back to mobility versus firepower. You better be ready to man up, dudes. And knowing your equipment. Well, yeah, this is a new system. And that's what you see a lot in sledgehammers. We are running new systems. I mean, yeah. ones that either we all haven't shot ones, for a long all time. The ones I could tell I missed were trigger jerks because I just wasn't used to the trigger. Yeah. All right, this is an 80 yard bad guy from the TMP Barricade, PFI dude, Sega 308. Nicely done. 
So you, you got an extra round on that, over. Holmes. Huh? You got six on that. Yeah. All the head ones I was missing were here and up in here. Did you intentionally try to shoot the head there? What's that? Did you intentionally try to shoot the head on that one? Yeah. That's the right answer, don't you think, Yusuf? Definitely. Five to if the he body, says no, the then we can't give him bonus points. Right? Huh? Five to the body, five to the head. On this? Isn't that on this target? Okay. Where's your other rounds? No, they're right here. That's what I was saying. Oh, I jerked dude. them all back. You know what? I'm sorry. I was thinking this is your five round target. Uh, five round over there. Oh, you suck then. Yeah, I did. Here, I was thinking you dominated. No. You just let him go with what he was saying before. It made you look better. But let me get, hold on. Let's let's ask your system. Because when I see results like this from a shooter like you, yeah. then I'm looking at the system. Is yeah, that, it, did you zero it and it's on? We zeroed it. Well, I shot one shot at 50 yards. And he said it was right on, so then we decided we'd zero it at like 86, and then I never shot it again. So, but this is right where I was aiming, so this okay. distance it's on. But, this is just me. All right. Okay. So. But it is not. It. It's not the system. I think if I was on, the system could have done it. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, we're gonna run it again, hopefully, to give the yeah, system absolutely. a fair chance. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta run it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need six it. points on that. Plus one. Plus two. You tape. got eight. I'll taper. Okay. Say that all again, PFI. Well, I just as, as rookie of a thing as it is to do, as soon as my my sling fell off, I just gave up mentally. I was to square your sling away. What's that? To get your sling squared away before you oh, shot yeah, or what? Oh, yeah, I mean, I was wearing my gun as a skirt, <laughs> standing there shooting the pistol plates. I'll vouch. He was wearing his gun as a skirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was goofy. And so uh, right but then, you know I what? just kind of gave up. If you're getting shot at, you'd probably do that or worse. I would. Oh, yeah. You'd yeah. pitch the gun. Oh, you'd yeah. go to your pistol. I would have got rid of it, yeah. Yeah, totally. All right, this is 76 yards. Nicely done. See, the gun's on. It was just me pulling them. Yeah, that's pretty good. That has a lot more blast. I'm oh. amazed at the amount of blast you have with that with no muzzle yeah. device. Yeah, yeah. It really... It's really... You lose the target completely, and then you got to find it again. Another good reason to have a muzzle device. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's a downside, I think, on those Segas, that they don't have one. At least yeah. not from and the no factory. easy way to do it, either. Yeah. You're going to have to take that welded. whole thing off, thread it. Yep. But we're giving the system a test and seeing what I can do with it, so... All right. Well, you're going to have another chance. First round... <laughs> Pistol shooting. <laughs> oh, what happened that to you? That is hilarious. I love it. You had a little distraction going on, did you not? <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit of skirt issues going on with that sling around your midsection. I, I was so close to just doing it one-handed. I was just going to pick this up and hold it and just shoot one hand. I wasn't helping. I was making well, fun of you to get in your and, head. And then you were yelling at me about the smiley face. So yeah. under the circumstances, I decided I would do it. <laughs> but I couldn't pull it together. Remember, if you say you're going to do something, be careful. You may just have to do it. So oh, the question awesome. is, are you going to go for a smiley face? Yeah, that's later awesome. On? What do you think there, Yusuf? Next time. Yeah, maybe. He's a quiet gentleman just sitting here laughing at us. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, if it, I, My pistol shooting on my round sucks, so I'm going to do better on that, oh, too. Oh, better than mine. Uh, I got, I got. you know, we all have our personal yeah. goals, right? Yeah. That's hilarious. Sun came out a little bit. Sorry, Good guys. That was mine. I was in a hurry. <laughs> you were in my a run hurry. was coming up. I didn't have any time. <laughs> you guys are cool with that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Let's have to flag it. We're pretty open-minded here. Let's get some of that orange tape. This place is going to look like a war zone with all the brass casings. Over top of it. By the way, guys, we do police our brass. We're both steel, uh, brass, we pick it all up. We're constantly keeping this little valley we're in clean. We spend a lot of time doing it. We like to keep it pristine and as nice as we can. I hope you guys do the same thing uh, to your shooting areas. Keep them clean. Keep them nice. People should know you've been there. That's all it is. Shooter ready. All QC'd. Everything's quality checked. You got 10 and 10 and everything. It's an easy miss, guys. Don't laugh. Most experienced shooters I've ever seen have done that. Shooter ready. Second run. Sega 308. We're going to take our time. Not a lot of smack talk, if any at all, because I want to see what this gun can see do. See what this so rifle's capable do. of. 
What's that? So let's see what this rifle rifle is capable of. Yeah, so we're gonna slow it down. We want to turn in a perfect score, both pistol and rifle with PF5 if we can. Shoot already. Bad guy right, bad guy right. Left side. Five head, five body. Springfield, 100%. Five rounds head, bad guy, your choice of position. <sighs> reload, reload, reload. Nice, using the dump pouch. Your buddy's gonna be happy to see that. All his work did not go in vain. Eighty yard bad guy, paper. Five and five. Five head, five center mass. Nice, way to remember. Atta boy. Trying to minimize the human element here. Testing the gun on this run. Hard to do in these conditions, hard to do. Wind did die down though, that's a good thing. That's a hit, I think. Actually, maybe it's rock. It will really hit when you hit it that. Is that a hit? I don't know, they all look high to me. I think you'll really hear it with that 308. Yeah, you will. Yeah, those are sailing just a little high left. That's a hit. Yeah, we should have decided to send it a little bit longer distance. Are you holding over a little bit? I was holding under it. 
for you? Yeah. What's your zero on that? 86? No, like 50. 50? Yeah, that one hit, I was probably about that far under the plate. Really? Yeah. Whew. Well, I went to run a SOCOM 2 on this. Everything else looked really this. good, though. Huh? Everything else looked really good. Cool. Let's check it. Your stability looked pretty awesome. Oh, well, you slow it down. And... 279, it wasn't that slow. You beat your last yeah. time, dude. Mentally slow it down. Yeah. Did not talking about Vienna help you at all? <laughs> no, I get, I get, I actually shoot better when she's involved. <laughs> I think shooting that gun with no muzzle device is a skill set all its own. Oh man, it's something else. And I think just like a 357 Magnum, dudes, you've seen this in my videos. If you ever shot a 357 Mag or 44 Magnum in a lightweight gun, you're gonna forget how hard it is. I just ran like Sterling Moore said, an impact. I just ran this on a fixed seven power the whole time. Too. Yeah, perfect. I, you know, I think the seven the power is max magnification works really good out here. I'll take more. That's but what that's I'm talking about. Good mid range. Oh, nice. PFI dude with a Sega 308, slowing it down, representing. Turn in a perfect Where's score. This Where's that fifth one? I really like the headshots on that dude. I called it right in the middle too and wondered where it went. That's only one though. Well, I'm still gonna give it to you though, because that's a good group. If the fifth, the fifth round would be there too yeah. if you had it. I'm, I, that's, it's not even questionable. See, once you just take, once you learn your equipment, this is definitely a capable rifle once you learn to shoot it. It's a skill set, though. Yeah. That's real nice. I don't care who you are. That's. I have my days, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see how I did here. This is 76 yard bad guy. Nice. Nice, Brian. Is it good? Yeah, it's way good. Picking out a scorpion from a stock. There we go. Nice. One a little bit, but dude, it's it doesn't in. get any better than that. Another, well done. Yeah. Redemption. Seventeen you had right coming off that. Yeah. Seventeen. We'll give you a three-point bonus. That's eight twenty-five. Not bad. We gave him two points at two hundred yards. Uh, I'm not sure on one, so we always err yeah. towards the side of being conservative, and that was a uh, fifth round was missing. But there's no question he was on the money with that gun. On the money. So, you, from your first to second round, night and day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Night and day. Yeah. I I should have been able to adapt quicker, but with my wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I just gave up. Uh, also, I think um, with your shooting experience, you learned very quickly on a new system. Right, right. You talked at length about the trigger. You're like, ah, he's running a Tapco G2 in this, and it has its own idiosyncrasies that yeah. you have to be aware of. And you're like, it, I do the same thing. You kind of go, oh, I need to shoot it this way. Yeah. And then you go to shooting that system a certain way, and that's what you get. Well, and I, you know, after my last round, I went over and actually worked the trigger a few times, saw what I was doing wrong, got a feel for it. So. I saw you crying over there, too. Were yeah. you kneeling down and sobbing? Yeah. That's cool. Well, whatever it takes to regroup, you did it. <laughs> He regrouped. Proof is in the paper. Feels good when it's getting done. Yeah. How do you like the weight on that monster? It's heavy. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really heavy. I was kind of surprised. I thought this stock would be lightweight because it it's all polymer, light. but it is a heavy piece of, of uh, equipment. It's very dense, isn't it? Yeah, really thick. The adjustment on it's crazy, too. Dude, it's all Picatinny rail, but I mean, you'd have to have go go gadget arms to run Kareem that. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, wow. I got long arms. That's kind of crazy. About good That's for me a little bit here. much. That wind's coming back to us. Huh, that probably means it's my run. Hey, by the way, I saw you use your douche pouch there. Yeah? Your buddy, your buddy from the bestguy.com yep, is going to best like guy. it. There you go, I gave him a free plug. There you go. Thevestguy.com. Makes great gear. PFI, dude. That's his buddy. He sews tactical gear. Hey, best guy, you better give my TMPers like a really good deal. Oh, he if they will. They go to you. Tell him you're a nothing fancy fan and he'll hook you up. He sewed this for PFI, though. 
Yeah, he made this. He also made these mag pouches. Did that on purpose. Had to put it upside down. Just he just so. likes to be different. Just so I would feel special. That is special. I'm making a statement there. He loves me. I think you're making a statement here, there too. How's that for a segue? Owned it. Blew that guy's larynx out. There we go. I feel good about just that. Just got to learn it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I feel real good about that that's run. wicked. Until I get to the pistol target. Nice. With the XD9 Springfield. There we go. Very nice. You only got four on your plates, but you did really nicely here. Yeah. That's good. Under stress? It's well, all about not so focus. much stress. I was letting you do your thing here. Yeah, it's about focus. Focus? I was so I was so uh, worried about my skirt falling off again that I <laughs> didn't do real well on the plates. <laughs> it's a good look at that UTG mount. It does look heavy to me, PFI. That looks like a heavy mount. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. blows it away for weight. It probably does. Yeah, I'd like to compare the two. The gun itself super heavy, but this piece wasn't necessarily that bad compared to the rest. I know. For a, for a heavy duty mount, I'd sacrifice a little bit. So we just put this one on last night. Talk, uh, the recording card switched, but we're talking about that rail. That other one uh, failed on. Yeah, the gun tech mount completely failed. The top rail was uh, held in by two screws and it stripped out and the rail fell off. Yeah, nice. Uh, get your pistol out, we'll take a still of that. Guilty as charged. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's too funny. Two cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What are we laughing at? <laughs> I want to tell you guys what we're laughing at. Uh, this is. I don't know. Should I? Yeah, no. go ahead. Because I'm filming them. We're trying to get the end part of the Sega 308. And I was walking up on PFI, dude, and I wasn't paying attention where the camera was pointed. It was like pointed right at his crotch. <laughs> and they're going, dude, you know you're looking at that. I was like, yeah. ah, I'm not going to end that. Yeah. That'll, that'll just be misconstrued. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, dude. Final thoughts on the Sega. You turn in an impressive 38. It would have been 44 had you gone prone. Right. Yeah, I, I was very impressed. It ran well, zero malfunctions. Uh, probably not my first choice for a 308 battle rifle. Okay. It's super heavy. Part of it could be the optic that we chose along with the UTG mount. That is a big optic. But the AK, the Sega platform, you know, it's, it's a heavy platform anyway. Um, big drawback, no muzzle device. I concur with that. I'm sure you'll, you've seen some of the flash oh, off of that dude, thing. It's a fireball. Just flames. Um, a lot of concussion too, which is distracting for a shooter. It really is. Yeah, the first round it really got to me trying to learn the platform, but after I went and messed with it a bit. Uh, Forget the gun. Great, great How about learning the sling? Huh? Forget the gun. How about learning the sling? The sling, yeah. The whole system. You know, it's all about the system. Amen, brother. But yeah, it, great. I would, I would definitely buy one. I would use one. And if I had to, you could be very effective with it. You proved that in the groups you got there. Yeah. Nicely done. But, Nothing uh, fancy. Uh, I'm sorry, go. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, just probably not my first choice. I'm Where'd a big FAL fan. Uh, I like how high value they are. Yeah. You get a lot of gun with your money. Granted, you want to outfit it like this, you're going to lose some value out. I, and like I said to begin, that's a big scope for what we're doing out here it today. Is. I know you just threw it on to test the scope. Right. Uh, I, the scope held up too, though. Very impressed with the you know fairly inexpensive Leapers optic. Right on, dude. Uh, look to nothing fancy project and you'll see me running another Sega. I want to do my own testing on it. I like to have Brian's input here. Uh, I like data. Data for the tabletop reviews that we generate all on our own out here. Thanks, dude. Yep, thank you. Signing off. That's a sledgehammer. Sega 308 with the XD9. Yeah. I'm gonna load up some wall.